good morning happy wednesday so as you saw you'll know what my as you saw yesterday you'll know what my breakfast is so i've got a aldi strawberry and mango fruit tea and then i've got my strawberry cheesecake so i've got 40 grams of uh, grape nuts for my health extra b then i've got some flavored cork so i've just flavoured about 140 grams of cork with the Schmoor's Skinny Syrup and then I've got some chopped strawberries and a sprinkle of cinnamon. So that is one of my favourite breakfasts as I mentioned the other day. My Wednesday lunch is the other portion of my rice bowl. So it's the Bachelor's Super Rice Mild Curry, which is free on the plan, with uh, barbecue chicken, tomatoes and peppers. I've had a, a few questions about this. Yes, I do reheat it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and giving it a stir, but I would also eat it cold. And remember, this is not boiled rice. It's actually a rice that's been made, uh, like, in the kettle and stuff so it's not the same as um like reheating boiled rice but yeah i would eat that either hot or cold and i've not had any problems um and then i've got apple and strawberry and a diet lemonade now let's go and see what this naughty boy is up to can you see a little bum there yes you Come on. Never mind digging. Come on, are you playing? Come on then. Go find your dinner. I'm having a bit of an afternoon dip. It's unusual, but I'm just feeling a bit tired and like I need something to eat. So I'm having a hot orange juice and I'm having one of these Aldi Light Benefit bars, the summer fruit one. So that's three cents. I suddenly remembered that I've got lots of strawberries to use up. So I thought I'd be good and have some strawberries with it as well. Back up to work we go. My Wednesday evening meal is sliced gammon with potato and carrot chips um, which has about 30 grams of lighter cheese melted over them and some mixed veg so peas, carrots, cauliflower and broccoli with half a sin of lighter than light mayonnaise. I've also put some cayenne pepper over the veg and chips. I have had a couple of questions about how I split my Healthy Extra A. To be quite honest, there's not an exact science, there's no exact measurements in how I split it. I just use my common sense, I use less cheese than, than what is recommended so that I'm saving a little bit for a coffee later. Uh, so that's how I work it and it works for me. Then I've got a banana and custard mother yoghurt and a orange juice. And this little one is fussing because we've both got plates that he wants to lick. Good evening, I think this is the first time you've seen my face today. I thought I'd come on once again while I'm prepping my breakfast for the morning and have a little chat with you and show you what I'm doing and then answer a couple of questions from day two. I've also got some questions from Instagram as well, so... Uh, yeah, keep the questions coming because it's quite fun. Right, so I am making my Weetabix muffins. There is a fuller recipe um, down on the channel. But I've got um, 40 grams of Weetabix minis. These were just the last of the packet that I just feel like using up like this. Then I've got the new, oops, because it was already open, there you go, first blooper, um, Muller Light Coffee Shop, um, Salted Caramel Cappuccino, sorry I'm going to have to uh, 
wipe that up before I spill up, before I slip on it. Bear with me one second. The joys of uh, filming you for YouTube. Right, let's try again. Salted caramel cappuccino flavour yoghurt. Um, when I tried the gingerbread one, I didn't like it quite as much as this one. Um, but I'll eat what I've got anyway. Um, so you want about half of the yoghurt. Good couple of spoonfuls anyway. Mm -mm -mm. It's really nice, is that one? Then you want two eggs. This is for chocolate wheat bix muffins. And two eggs, and then you want some kind of sweetener. So I'm going to use my caramel. Um, skinny syrup, just a couple of squirts of that and also I've got some Cupcake World flavouring so these are probably going to be really sweet but never mind a couple of squirts of that, that is quite strong so you only need a couple of drops and just give it a good mix Just spray your, I use these muffin tins with fry light and divide the mixture. as my husband would call it. And they want to be cooked probably for about half an hour because they are quite liquid um, on 200 degrees. So I'll put that on to warm up. It will make a noise but we can cope with that. And I'll have a little chat with you. There we go. Right, so your questions, let's have a look. It's 20 past seven, I've just been in the shower and dried my hair, spoke to my sister on the phone. So Helen from the Living Stones says, another lovely video, would love to see a shopping food haul from you if you get the time, please. There are a couple of shopping hauls already on my channel, but the reason I don't do a lot of shopping hauls is it comes on a Thursday when it's my group day. So I'm still working. It comes about four o'clock um, and Andrew unpacks it all and then I rush off to group. So it's not very often that I get a chance to film a shopping haul, but next time I do, next time I do get a chance, I will. Um, let's have a look. So Nova Evans says, Hi lovely Debs, how do you spill, split your milk and cheese? What quantities? So I sort of answered this earlier. I just use my common sense. So I look up the sins for the milk or the cheese that I'm using and I just reduce the quantities. Um, so for example, for me, I know that 
um, having 30 grams of lighter cheese when the healthy extra A allowance is 40 grams and 60 to 70 mils of semi-skim milk is roughly my healthy extra A. Now it might not be an exact science but it works for me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I split it. I just look up the sins and I apply my common sense. Um, so for example today I've used slightly more cheese. I've used 32 grams of lighter cheese and um, uh, because I'm using almond milk that is less sins than normal milk so that would be absolutely fine but just use your own common sense if it works for you then do it but um, this is what works for me people asking about the skinny syrups which I've linked then Tracy says Tracy says, you have given me great advice and support, people can relate to you, would you ever consider becoming a Slimming World Consultant? Um, I'd like to get a bit near a target, uh, currently my target is a stone and a, stone and a half away, roughly, um, but I think probably I might lower it after that, I don't know. But if you'd asked me about two months ago, I would have said I love my current job too much. Um, but at the moment, it actually seems like a valid option to become a consultant. Um, I think if I heard of an um, opportunity event, I would go. Uh, but from what I've read online, to be perfectly honest, I don't think it's going to pay enough. Because, um, as you know, um, we've just had a lot of work done in the house and we've got a newish car, so we have to pay off both of those things so I don't think it's uh, a valid option at the moment but certainly I'll go to a um, opportunity event and find out more. So that's the um, muffins going in for, I put it on for 30 minutes I think. Uh, and also the other thing I was thinking about with, with being a consultant is um, my area seems quite saturated with Slimming World groups. Um, like I know there's at least three nights a week in the venue that I go to and in another venue and in the next two villages there's a Slimming World group. So I'm not quite sure how it works uh, with either setting up a new group or... But if anybody's got any advice, if anybody out there is watching who is a consultant, um, then yeah just please let me know just going through and just checking if there's any more questions somebody asking about the rice yes i do reheat the rice but i would eat it cold as well so dorothy says just watching you before i go to sleep and you've right woke me up even my husband burst out laughing at your workout comments you're so funny at times thanks for the laugh thank you dorothy my question, why do you have Baby Bell Normal and not the Baby Bell Lights? I just find that two Baby Bell Normal is sufficient for me. Because you can have three Baby Bell Lights, but I don't need three. Two is enough for me. Uh, so yeah, and I think because I'm a cheese, um, I like to taste cheese, so I would think that the regular version would taste more of cheese than the light versions. <coughs> Last question from Sam is, love your videos, oh sorry it's not the last question, love your videos, such great motivation, what one food could you not live without? I think it would be potatoes for Slimming World chips and Slimming World roasties and also jacket potatoes, such a staple food. Um, and then Katie says, how do you stay so motivated? Now I'm not sure if this is going to work. There we go. That is how I stay motivated. Oops, hang on. My awards wall here. There we go. And on the fridge. That is what keeps me motivated. Um, and just, 
I constantly, probably people get fed up of it, I constantly post pictures on Instagram and YouTube, uh, Facebook, sorry, um, and doing this channel keeps me motivated. So I would highly recommend post lots of pictures for insp uh, inspiration, face to, like face to face and body to body. Uh, blog your journey through Instagram, YouTube, a written blog, whatever. Uh, display your certificates. Um, yeah, and just keep thinking of that next award and how you are not going to go back to where you started. That's what keeps me motivated. Uh, Susan says, um, do you ever have all 15 sins? I always do. If I ever get to bedtime and I have only had, say, seven, I then work out what I can have for the remaining sins. I wouldn't, for the sake of it, um, usually I end somewhere around 12 or 13 sins so I then wouldn't add four Mercado sticks to make it up to 15 um, if I wanted something extra to the sins I was having in an evening I would have a few strawberries or an apple or I would add some speed rather than adding four extra Mercados to make it up to 15 sins uh, but it's just personal choice the 15 sins are there to be used um, but I wouldn't eat them just because they were left over. Um, oh, and then Joan says, sorry, there were more questions than I thought. Um, do you plan your meals for the week and write a proper list? Do you think that makes a huge difference? In the beginning, uh, I did write a couple of like, just ideas, not exactly a plan but ideas for lunches and things but now I've done, I, I just think for the next day um, prepare for a, a meal ahead as I was saying yesterday um, Andrew and I have always worked from a rough meal plan um, so you may have noticed that we have the same or similar meals on each day of the week um, so like Monday we'll have a mince type meal or a chicken type meal, Tuesday we'll have fish, Wednesday we'll have chicken or gammon, Thursday it's a slimming world meal and Friday it's a burger. Um, and then Saturdays and Sundays usually something chicken -y and I'll work from my freezer. So yeah, we've, we've always, well, as long as we've been married, before I was on slimming world, we've always worked from a rough meal plan. So yeah, I've just adapted it to what I do. And yeah, uh, I always think um, for my if say if I'm having breakfast, I'll always think, do I need my healthy extra A later on uh, with what I'm having for tea? And then I pl I plan that way. So I just think I just plan the next day, and I think a meal ahead. That's what works for me. Right then, guys, I better go, otherwise this video is going to be super long. I will come back on and show you what I'm snacking on tonight. So my Wednesday evening snacks are the Malaysian sweet curry pea snacks for four sins from Aldi and also from Aldi the milkshake biscuits. You will find these in the same place as the groovy biscuits but they are six and a half sins. And then I've got my um, Darug Butts Caramel Coffee with 70ml uh, of almond milk and what I will say, what I should have said earlier, is I still weigh my cheese and I still measure my milk even though I'm splitting them so I'm not guessing anything uh, but as I say it's just what works for me, uh, I'm not guaranteeing that it will work for you. So yeah, four sins and six and a half sins and I'd already had three and a half sins so that I end the day on 14 sins and that's Another successful day completed on plan.